Handbrake is a free and open source video conversion software. Um, using Handbrake can be one of the easiest ways to compress the size of video files. So converting it from a bigger size file to a smaller size file, um, that can absolutely be useful if you're trying to save space on a hard drive or if you're trying to upload an assignment to a site like Moodle that often has file size restrictions, um, where sometimes a video as you recorded it is too big to be uploaded to the site. Um, so today we're going to give an example of converting a movie um, made with photo booth, that's a .mov right now, into an mp4 file. That's definitely a smaller file. Um, and so as a sample, we can click on handbrake uh, with this icon here with the cocktail and pineapple. And right when you click on it, it'll come up with a, an option of choosing the file directly. Um, as shown here, but if for some reason Handbrake's already open or it doesn't prompt you directly to find the file, you can always go to the source button in the upper left hand corner here and you can go through the same menus to find your file just that way. Um, I think one of the most important things to do when thinking about converting your movie to a smaller movie is to think about what kind of file you'd like to have. As I mentioned, we're going to do an MP4 today. You also have the option of an MKV file, but usually MP4 will fit your needs of compressing a file, and it's the default setting right now. Um, and then thinking then, okay, once my video is converted, where would I like it to be saved? And to choose that, you go to Destination, and you can click on the Browse button. Um, I'm going to change the name from movie to film <laughs> just so that I have an original title so I know, okay, this is my converted version. And it works for me to save it on the desktop even though you have some other choices where you'd like it to, to be saved. And you can go ahead and hit the save button. Um, you can also manually type in a new name in this field here um, to change what you'd like the movie to be called. Um, the next step would be to take a look at the video codec. Uh, which here it's automatically on the H264 setting, and that's perfect. You can leave it um, or change it to that if for some reason it, that's not the case on your screen. Um, the next thing to check would be the bit rate, which is the conversion rate of the video from one file size to an, and type to another. Right here it's going to give you 2,500 as the bit rate, but really the suggested size is anywhere between 5,000 and 10,000. 5,000 is good for pretty much most purposes. If you want an exceptional quality video, then you can go up to 10,000, but it'll definitely be a slower process. It's also a good idea to click on two-pass encoding, which will take slightly more time, but will make sure that there are no errors, or hopefully fewer errors at least, um, in converting your video. Um, it really shouldn't take that long. My video is about three minutes long, and how long it takes to encode is a function of how long the video is. And the two passages, take just as long as the video, three minutes to go through the whole process of reading through it. Um, some other settings you could take a look at, you can go to picture settings, this TV up here in the corner. Um, if you wanted to change the size of the video screen, for instance, um, that your video will be shown at. Um, another place you can go is if you go up to window in this top tab here, and then to your presets drawer. Oh, excuse me, we'll go right back there. Um, you can then go to high profile so that your video will record at a higher quality. Um, and those are all of the most important considerations that you need to make sure that um, a standard video can be successfully converted. Um, to get started converting your video, you just click on the start button green triangle here and it'll start encoding. Um, Handbrake will let you know when it's done doing so. Down here at the bottom it's saying okay it's on its first passage because it's doing the double encoding as we said and it's guessing that there's about a minute and 50 seconds left of the first pass for both passes together. Um, so it really won't take too long until um, this film here is entirely downloaded onto my desktop. Um, here at the LRC, we have Handbrake on all the computers already, um, but if for some reason you're working on a computer that doesn't have Handbrake, you can always go to their website, um, handbrake.fr, and download it for free. Um,
It's pretty straightforward. My last recommendation would be that once your file here is done converting, um, to go ahead and play it and watch it and make sure that nothing went wrong, that all of your content's still there, that the audio is good, and if you follow these standard settings, that should absolutely be the case. Thank you so much.